I'm up against. In this part of Brazil, you're never far away from something astounding. A research team has managed to capture a live snake. They were called in by a ranch owner who was worried it might eat his livestock. First sight, it's a very, very hefty snake. The skin's quite slack, so it probably hasn't fed for a while. So the first thing to do is to gain control of the head. I'm having to use every single ounce of my strength to restrain it. Whoa. You can see how many of us it needs to take this snake. As it's gaping with a tongue flickering out. You can get my first real glance of the teeth of the green anaconda. They're like needles. On the upper jaw, they're in rows and they point backwards towards the throat. So once it's got a hold of anything, there is simply no way it's going to escape. The anaconda uses its needle-like teeth to anchor itself to the prey's flesh. Once in its grip, it goes in for the kill, wrapping coils of powerful muscle around its prey. The coils constrict, stopping the animal breathing, even crushing vital organs and the second the snake senses that its prey has stopped fighting, that its heart is, has stopped beating, it'll stop squeezing. There's no sense in using up any more energy than it absolutely has to. This snake will go to the research team's lab for a checkup before being released somewhere where it won't come into further conflict with human beings. Gazing in